in the hospital tonight with gunshot wounds after a walk in the park nearly cost him his life. Florida Fish and Wildlife investigating this case as a hunting accident, one that should have never happened. We go live now to Chris Trankman, who joins us from Tampa General Hospital with more on this story. Chris. Usually when you are out walking in the woods practicing your hunting calls, the idea is to attract birds or game animals. But in this case, it may have had the opposite effect, attracting a hunter's gunfire, nearly killing a man. Flatwoods Park is normally filled with bikers on paths and hikers on trails. The signs clearly show the land is operated by Hillsborough County and it's illegal to hunt animals. Yet it appears the two walkers early Sunday inadvertently became the hunted. They were practicing turkey calls on, on state property uh, where hunting is now allowed and, and was shot twice by a high-powered rifle. Owen Lefebvre, ex-husband of convicted teacher Deborah Lefebvre and now a father of two, says his brother-in-law and a friend may have attracted poachers by mistake. Clint Gallantine was fortunate to have avoided being shot to death because the bullets were just inches away from striking vital organs. Out of nowhere, he was shot aside first, I believe, um, and then uh, he was shot a second time in his arm, and his friend, uh, astutely enough, started yelling, you know, stop shooting. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Service and the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office are investigating the shooting. While hunters have reported an increase in deer activity in the area, they're not supposed to be hunting them on park property. When you go to a park, especially a park like Flatwoods, that's highly popular, that has a number of kids and events and, and bike trails, and uh, you, you don't expect to be shot, that's for sure. Now, Galantine had surgery here at Tampa General this morning. He is expected to make a full recovery. Meanwhile, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission has yet to announce any arrests in this shooting. Live in Tampa, Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.